Hello friends and welcome to So Aldo. For today's video, I will be showing you some fabrics that I recently purchased for my future sewing projects. So I haven't done a shopping haul or a fabric shopping haul in a while just because I was like so busy and plus I want to use up all the fabrics that I purchased last time before I buy some more because I just don't want to pile so much fabrics in my sewing room because I just don't want it to get over crowded or like I, I just don't want so much fabric that I will get overwhelmed. In this video, I'm also going to talk about like um, my sewing, uh, sewing plans for next month and maybe January. So yeah, I have a box full of fabrics here. So I'm gonna grab the first uh, fabric that I got. Um, and this time actually, I told you before that I love double brushed jersey knit just like the one that I'm wearing now it, this is a double brush and I love it it's very easy to work with it wash really well in the laundry or yeah in the washer so I wanted to test out like new new fabric so I can expand my you know my fabric um, collection or you know just like the fabrics that I would like to work with so I decided to try this fabric out and it's called the it's called I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it says Fabric Merchants Techno. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to. I, I forgot what the name of the fabric. I'm just gonna put that put it down here. Oh, how handy! It's right here. <laughs> anyway, so the so this one, this fabric right here. I'm gonna take it out. This is a scuba knit, and this is very shiny on the other side and like a matte finish on the other side. I really like it because it is thick enough and it has a little bit of stretch. So I was thinking for this fabric, I'm gonna make that dress that I was telling you about that Meghan Markle wore. So black and black with white buttons that goes down. And then the other one is just like a boat neck dress that has a three quarter length sleeve and a half circle dress or half circle skirt bottom. So I was thinking this, this fabric is going to be really good uh, for those dresses because I was examining the dresses. It seems like they don't wrinkle really easily So this is like the fabric that I picked out. I absolutely love it. It feels so nice um, I worked with this type of fabric before um, I made a I Made a red dress that was like a fitted on the top and then it kind of goes out Kind of flared on the bottom. It wasn't a circle dress, but it was just it's just like a fit and flare dress I accidentally donated that dress and a bunch of other dresses that I made from previous years. It was, you know, it was just by accident. That, that's why I don't have them now. But anyway, I worked with this type of fabric before. And yeah, so that's why I, I decided to give it a go one more time. And this is called, this is called Fabric Merchants Techno Scuba Knit. It has a little bit of stretch. So I might be able to um, make a dress without putting any zipper or any buttons. We all need some sort of black dress in our closet, in our wardrobe. I have a few black dresses already, but I just want to recreate that look that Meghan Markle wore on that tour that I was telling you about. So that's the first, so that was the first fabric. So let's put that aside here. And then the next fabric is a navy blue fabric. Ooh, I love the color. So for this dress, um, I was thinking I want to make a V-neck dress with a long sleeve, just like this one, because I'm obsessed with this neck right here, this dress right here. The V-neck is just right. It's, it's still kind of, it's not too deep. I think it's still a little modest, and I can get away with it without wearing tank top underneath it but I want to recreate this dress so if you want to make like a v-neck dress I'm definitely going to make a tutorial using this fabric and I actually got extra fabric just because I love this color fabric here is a double brush you know I love double brush knit fabric so yeah it's actually feels so good against the skin that's why I'm obsessed with this type of fabric I love the color Can you see that there you go. So that's that. I got the a black and a navy. 
and I thought they're just like so dark so I went opposite very colorful one so I bought a pink one so this one I have a plan I saw this dress when I went to Las Vegas like a few years ago or I think it actually last year when we went to Las Vegas we went to Ted Baker and they have you know they have amazing dresses but honestly I just cannot I just cannot see myself buying expensive dresses like that you know but I was inspired when I went to the store so they have this two-tone dress for um, not two-tone yeah two-tone like um, printed on the bottom and then plain on the top so I was thinking I am going to do the same I'm going to recreate a garment like that uh, this fabric is a scuba knit so I told you it doesn't stretch this side, but it does on this side. So I was thinking of making a dress out of this or a skirt. And I love the color. I mean, on camera, it, it looks very bright. But actually, in person, it's just like a muted bubblegum pink. I, I actually made a dress that looks exactly... I mean, the color looks pretty much the same. I, I, I also accidentally donated that um, one day when I was... Uh, when I was organizing my closet, I was just like going through all the sewing projects that I so the all the dresses that I made, I put them in one pile and then when we were like grabbing things to donate, I my husband accidentally picked that up and donated it. And I never see them. I have a bunch of dresses in that bin that I was just like, "Oh, I love those dresses," including the wedding dress that I made. So, oh well. Uh, lesson learned so next time label the pile that you're going to donate and the pile that you're going to keep when you are organizing your closet so that doesn't happen to you so anyway let's go back to the haul so this is the this is a scuba knit fabric um, this one is a little different than than the black one the black one is actually um, it's called a techno scuba knit and this one is just a this one is just a scuba knit and 100% this is 100% polyester the black one is a combination of spandex and polyester so the other one is much more much more softer and and has stretched both ways so this is the the next fabric yeah I love it yes so let's put that away I'm going to fold that neatly uh, after this and then I also got this one. Like I said earlier, I want to try out some new fabrics. And this one, um, I absolutely love the print. This is my idea. This here and this here, I am going to combine it into one dress or into one garment. So maybe solid on the top and then, I mean solid on the top and then printed on the bottom or other way around. It, it really depends. And I love this one. I love the print. I might just put this, I might use this as a skirt because I think the print is way too big to be uh, for me to use it as a top because you know if you're a petite person you should stick with little prints but I just cannot help it. I absolutely love the color of this one. It's very um, springy actually but I can wear this. I can also wear this during winter time because of the like a muted pink to it. I love it and it's called this fabric is called let me see over here it's Liverpool double knit winter roses pink and unfortunately this was the last yard when I when I bought this this was the last one I don't know if they will restock it um, but yeah I absolutely love the fabric as well but I noticed this one is a little thin so if I make a skirt out of this I have to line it or really it you don't have to it's just me I'm just I, it just makes me cringe if my skirt is see-through but it's not really see-through it's not necessary to put it's not necessary to put a lining but for me I might yeah it's just it's totally up to your preference but this is actually a good mat material this is not a very thin material it is it is a good thick material so that's that and of course this haul is not going to be complete without me buying some sort of blue floral print fabric so i got this one and this one the, the type of blue is different it's almost like indigo or i don't know how to describe this blue <laughs> let's let's look at the color 
um, scoop in it. Yeah, light indigo. I was right. Yeah, it's light indigo, and look at and it's also double brushed, so it has little prints of you know flowers here. It has pink, green, perfect for spring and summer. Well, I can wear this any you know any time of the year. I absolutely love it, and. This is also good. It, it's not see-through material. You don't have to line it like this one. This one and this one are the same fabric. So for this one, I don't know what I'm going to make yet because um, I don't know. I need to be inspired first, but I'm happy that I have a fabric that I can just turn it into something pretty silly. I have so many dresses, you guys. Um, do you want me to do a dresses collection video? Because I have a bunch. Um, yeah. Um, I do have a lot of them. I have a lot of handmade dresses. And I also made the pattern just like this one. I absolutely love this one. Can you see this one? The, the sleeves is very fitted, so it's very slimming. So I absolutely love that about this dress. So as I was talking, the camera just just turn off automatically so these are all the fabrics that i bought today and i hope you are looking forward to see what i'm going to turn them into um, probably the first project that i'm going to be doing is the the black one because i want to be able to wear this dress during the holiday time yes i'm just kind of so excited and plus this is like a proper thick material for winter all the fabrics that i showed today i'm just going to have the link in the description box below so you can go ahead and check that out and if you want to buy it go ahead just click it it's much easier for you because it's already um it's already lined up for you guys so yeah so that's it and i hope you like this video if you enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I upload every week to hit that subscribe button and that little bell right next to it it will just uh, if you click on it it will just let you know or it will just notify you when I post a new video so you don't miss out any of my new video so that's it for today and thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching my channel if you made it this far I really appreciate you guys watching my my video. I just want to greet you all. Happy Thanksgiving and I will see you soon. Bye!